Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and today we're going to take a look at the history of Tiki Gardens. Trader Frank Byers and his wife, Wahini Jo, started a gift shop called the Signal House in 1962. Shortly thereafter, there was a fire and the Signal House was rebuilt as Tiki Gardens, which opened in 1964. There were trails, canals, and bridges, along with tiki huts and animals. This is Cajona the Watcher God. He, along with a pantheon of other gods, watched over the Tiki Gardens. Here are some scenes from Trader Frank's restaurant. It was said that the Signal House gift shops was the largest gift complex in the southeastern United States. It seemed as though one could buy anything there, from a pendant to a pennant. There was also some really cool Tiki Gardens cologne. <laughs> Tiki Gardens even had its own Viewmaster slide and record album. This is rare footage of the Tiki Gardens from June, 1964.
1988, an Australian investment group bought the Tiki Gardens. In 1990, it was purchased by Pinellas County. Mr. and Mrs. Byers visited Tiki Gardens one last time to say goodbye. Today, the name Tiki Gardens only exists in this area on a parking lot. But if you're ever in said parking lot late one night and catch the scent of a tiki torch or hear faint Polynesian music, just know that an ancient god is smiling down upon you. <laughs>